Meantime, the FBI says Iran and Russia are trying to interfere in the U.S. election by sowing antagonism and confusion. Has that foreign interference reached Kern County or perhaps something else might be going on? 17's Robert Price looked into one case involving what appears to be a threat of violence against Trump supporters. We're less than two weeks away from the election and intimidation and fakery disguised as intimidation is popping up all over the country. From Florida to Alaska and including the states of Florida and Alaska, emails purporting to be from a far right group are turning up says one email from someone claiming to be the Proud Boys, a white nationalist group, vote for Trump or else. Real or manufactured to cast a negative light on the president, the FBI is investigating. In Colorado, alleged intimidation from the owner of a mobile home park. If Biden wins, the owner claims, your rent could double. And now in Kern County, a letter threatening Trump supporters. Or was it a joke? A 17 News viewer emailed to say a neighbor of his in the Northwest Bakersfield development known as Saddleback at Talos Ranch was claiming to have been targeted by someone who posted a letter on his door threatening him with, quote, severe consequences as a Trump supporter if the president refuses to concede after the election. Upon closer inspection, we learned that the letter was posted on a social media page belonging to a Facebook group dedicated to that neighborhood and closed to non-residents. The resident who posted it, he asked that his name not be used, said he was joking around, and his mildly profane caption seems to support that. Seems the letter addressed to Dear Neighbor and Threatening Violence has simply gone viral. But where did it come from? How about Milford, New Hampshire, population 15,000, 3,000 miles away? The New Hampshire Attorney General's Office is investigating two complaints in Milford and in nearby Brookline, New Hampshire, from homeowners who believe they were targeted because of the Trump signs in their yards. Make sure your insurance has adequate coverage for fire damage, it says in part. I searched news reports and could find no evidence these letters were turning up anywhere else except... Several of us neighbors up there uh, in Bear Valley Springs got these warning letters in plain envelopes in our mailboxes. We recommend that you check your home insurance policy and make it, make that, and make that it is current and that it has adequate coverage for fire damage. Ryan Bell was at Republican Party headquarters in Bakersfield Thursday picking up campaign material and told staffers there about the threat. She was not able to provide contact information for neighbors who also received the letter. The Bear Valley Springs Police Department said through a Kern County Sheriff's Department spokesman, it was not aware of any complaints about such a letter. Voter intimidation is against the law. So are threats against life and property under any circumstances. If someone claiming to be Antifa or Proud Boys or anybody in between threatens you, report it to the police. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.